I like how a smaller version of this man is crawling out of his chest cavity. <laughs> ah, the miracle of childbirth. Welcome back to B B Game Grumps. That's not, that's, that's not the name of this show. What is the name of this show? <laughs> what do I know, man? Uh, you know, I am gonna save, cause, uh, screw doing that ever again. <laughs> and I do mean ever again. <laughs> that, uh... Sucked some super hard nards. Gotta be real with you. All right, let's see here. What we got? Oh, we got the other. We got the other. Ah, the shotgun. The shotgun. The shotgun. Ah. Now we got the big shotgun. Uh, but unfortunately, we shouldn't have big shotgun and big handgun. So we're gonna carry this handgun and the shotgun while we hoard uh, uh, gunpowder. Put away the that. Oh no. Oh. I'm sorry, I really should be less disgusting. I, I'm, I apologize. Obviously. All right, here we go. Into the depths, into the pits. It's a swamp. We're going into the sewer. It smells bad. There's poo. There's poo. <laughs> you know poo? The, the, <laughs> the acclaimed character from the show Poo's Clues. <laughs> Smell. Tell me, would you watch Blue's Clues if it were renamed to Pooh's Clues? <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> That'd be a deal breaker right there. Blue's Clues? Hmm. That may be something worth watching, worth showing my kid. <laughs> Pooh's Clues? <laughs> you bet you're bippy. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with Pooh's Clues. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna get these Steel Boys. I'm be on my way. I don't think homeboy, you know, um, lard boy shows up yet. At least I hope not. Otherwise, I put myself in a pretty precarious position, all gung-ho like. I don't think lard boy shows up until they can properly show off lard boy. <laughs> you know lard boy? Oh, hey, look, it's card boy. Or, uh, I guess dead boy is a better term. Oh, a video cassette. Were you just <laughs> observing that man? Son of a bitch. Um, just get some chest shots. That'll be good. Let's just get a bunch of chest shots. That's definitely what I'm aiming for. To have a bunch of chest shots. Ah, oh, dude, sweet neck day. <laughs> Give him a new butt crack. Have you guys heard? Okay, so this is a development that has happened in the 300 years that I was in. What? What? You're alive? What? Since when were you alive? You have armor? Whoa! Did, did he just pull maneuvers on me? <laughs> did, he just, did he just outplay me? What just happened? What has this character been alive? I don't think. It, just because I sliced him? I don't think I've ever in any playthrough been attacked by this guy. Well, his leg's gone now. Yeah, I think he's dead. I think he's done skis. He was making a weird noise. Probably my knife wasn't doing much. So I probably should have stopped just relentlessly slashing him with it, but... Dang it, it felt good, Bobby. Bobby, it felt good. Bobby, don't tell your mother. Uh, why do I say things? You, you ain't full of nobody. You alive. <laughs> Did you just kill my friend? Did you just kill Johnny D? Uh oh. Okay, we're good. We're fine. We're good. We're Gucci. I'm just gonna slice your legs a bit until you start behaving. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so development that happened in the 300 years I'm away that I don't know that I've talked about yet. Have you guys, um, been keeping up with the- the two-butted man? Like, that political figure, the two-butted man? Oh, hello! That's not the two-butted man. That's just a regular single-butted man. No, no, no. Okay, so, two-butted- two-butted man. He's an obscure political figure. Um, that came to power in the, um, in late 2016, I want to believe. Uh, for the Republican Party, of course. And, uh, he put into practice 
um, this law against net neutrality. Um, not Ajit Pai. This is that's not the two butted man. That's Ajit Pai. Um, <laughs> but he does have very sweaty neck, just like Ajit Pai. Um, <laughs> where was I before I was goofing? Uh, <laughs> but the two butted man, um, you know, passed an anti net neutrality law on that day that we had a um, like a full lunar eclipse. That was like the day he like came to real prominence, real political power. He used like all of his money, all of his wealth. Um, he uh, <laughs> he uh, combined his company alongside the exonerated King of Butts, his that guy's company. So um, it ended up being uh, both of their companies together became the Butt Company. And so the two-butted man like had all the money he needed. In oh. <laughs> The two-butted man had all the money he would need to basically perform a political coup. Like, it was- it was rough stuff, and it's kind of hard to talk about now. Um, but I had to do it, since surprisingly not a lot of people know about the two-butted man. Despite how obviously important he is to the economy. Ah! Ah, don't do it! Oh, I hope I have enough rounds. Uh, can I just, uh, scooch on by you? Thank you. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> As I am out of blats. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Sorry, I had to focus on that guy. Two-butted man. Most important thing here. So not a lot of people know about him. And he, he, was, he was being real stealthy about it, like, really crossing his eyes and dotting his T's so that people wouldn't, um, take notice about all the prestigious power he was starting to gain up into the in Washington but like his big movement to power was on that day that the full lunar eclipse happened when that happened uh, while everyone was distracted he um, repealed net new like not repealed net neutrality that was a jeep pie he um, put it in go? order that allowed a jeep pie to uh, what is this one says uh, yeah that one says I don't know why I remember these so well. Oh, Magnum ammo. The gun I don't have right now. Good. <laughs> so from there, it became clear what his actual goal is. He wanted to grow more butts so he could become the most butted man in recorded human history. And as, as such, like the most respected man in human history. You know, the one that has the most butts. <laughs> Not the one that has the nicest butts. He didn't really care that much about quality, such as Leon's butt, for example. That's a butt. That's Ada. a butt. Now, Ada, Ada's mm, six out of ten. But Leon, mm, eight, solid eight, nine even. That's a good butt. <clears throat> but two butt a man, you know, they're, they're ranging around the three to two range. They're real saggy. Hang on, where's the raccoon milk? <laughs> raccoon milk. Oh! Oh, hey, look, we can play the video type. It shows what happens. Please. Oh, please, but, stop. but we've already seen it. Oh. Oh, he's breaking all the viruses. Wait, was he drinking them? <laughs> hey, look. It's homeboy. I didn't realize he was in like his first form there. This must have just happened like hours before Leon encountered him. Cute. It's working like a reveal, Virus. but in reverse. Those rats spread it. Astute observation, Leon. Hey, it's September. Do you remember the 21st night of September? I was changing the September. I'm chasing the clouds away. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Barbie Bar, somebody you remember. Barbie Bar, little new September. Barbie, I'm sorry. Why am I? I'm devolving. I'm devolving into lunacy. Uh, <laughs> so it's a two-butted man. So he started amassing butts. That was his next goal: was to become the most butted man in history. And people tried hard to stop him, but stop him. But at that point, he was just 
too powerful for you know people to deal with so two butted man got a third butt and then he went on to get a fourth butt and once you got the fourth butt that's when that was about the start of 2020 that's when all the all the disaster started that was the start of world war three you know that was uh that was the um like how the coronavirus came into existence he got a fourth butt and that was more than the world was prepared to handle it selfishly he still at this point did not care about the common man the, the, the he still went by the two-butted man mostly just to keep his uh his true intentions incognito so he still went by two-butted man but he did at this point have four butts however recently we've had a bit of a breakthrough the the, the two-butted man with four butts actually died well kind of he he sort of died. He shattered his entire skeleton, is what happened. He, um... <laughs> so he got a fifth butt, and... <laughs> as he prepared to... I'm sorry, I don't, it's not a laughing matter. I don't know why I'm laughing. As he prepared to, um... Really seal in his world, world conquest at that point. He, uh... Had to fart real bad. So he just let a massive righteous fart rip. But, unfortunately, all five of his butts, scattered across his body, farted at the same time. The propulsion of which sent his skeleton in so many directions at once that it, he just ragdolled and writhed until he was completely shattered. Nothing but a shell of a man on the floor. Two, twelve, eight. And that's the end of the two-butted man for now. Now that uh, Joe Biden has been elected uh, president, there are rumors that he's thinking about coming back from- ah, damn it. <laughs> I did it too early. There are rumors that he's considering coming back from the grave. We can hear this from his, um, you know, the cultists that he liked to, to cultivate. Of course, it was like a cult of personality. A lot of people were just, oh, the two-butted man is the savior of humanity. The two-butted man was put into <laughs> put into position by God himself. Two-butted man. This is the most respectable man in U.S. politics today, really disrupting the system. No, two-butted man was evil. And we are... Oh, he does get up. He does get up. He does blarg. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. That's a darn tootin' shame. Let's go put away the stuff that we picked up. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, I need that blue herb. I've I've been getting hit a lot lately, and I need, I need the blue herb. But, uh, we, we just need to keep your eye on the two-butted man. And I know this sounds ridiculous, because his name was the two-butted man, but understand that's all part of his game. He wants to get in your head, make, make you think that he's not a threat, when he actually 100% is. So, two-butted man. Don't forget about the two-butted man, or he will catch you off guard. He is the greatest threat facing Americans at the moment. A lot of people are like, Vladimir Putin, those people are stupid. Two-butted man. <laughs> Two-butted man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. That's playing into exactly what he wants, but I can't deny it is a funny name. <laughs> One time... <laughs> a completely unrelated thought. One time... <laughs> So if you don't know what cookout is, if there's not one in your area, it's a pretty dope burger joint. It has good shakes and they're open till three. It's perfect college town food. I've, I've oh, I almost threw a grenade. <laughs> I've had spent more nights at 3 a.m. in a cookout in my college town than I would care to admit. Um, I'm going back for another knife. <laughs> so, but uh, they have you know a wide selection of flavors of shakes. So one night me and my friends are going. Two, <laughs> we're going to the cookout, and uh, you know the girl who's in the driver's seat was ordering everything. And <laughs> the last thing she orders is a. Uh, she goes, "Can I get a uh, chocolate nut <laughs> shake?" And then the guy at the the guy at the the, the drive-through just said, "It is a funny name. It's okay." <laughs> and one of the guys in the car was like, "Are we allowed to tip you?" <laughs> Uh, he's a funny guy. I like when, like, Godspeed. To <laughs> Were they? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, gentlemen. I didn't mean to catch you in the middle of something. If it's any kind of peace offering, allow me to offer you this grenade in this trying time. <laughs> Whatever, they were going to be an issue. Those guys always are an issue. And I just... <laughs> I'm always like, those guys aren't going to be an issue, and then they're totally an issue every single time. So whatever, it's fine. I, I, I picked up another grenade anyways, it's fine. What am I- what am I going to need a grenade? When's the last time you saw someone need a grenade? That's ridiculous, you're ridiculous, you're silly. Why are you being such a silly goose? You're a goose and you're silly, you stupid, silly, silly goose. I'm sorry, that, that did not need to get as hostile as it got. Ooh, the T-Virus! The, the pump virus! <laughs> oh, remember that one gag I did on that ladder over there? I am become safe, bonk! Yeah, that's good. Uh, 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 oh no, that just, that just flew out of me, I'm sorry. Okay, I get it if I use the K. I get two waiter guts. Uh, I miss old game grumps. Oh, suck an egg and die. You big, big, big weenies. Well, <laughs> ain't no way in hell I'm going down there right at this second. <laughs> so I guess I'm going back. <laughs> That's the only option available to me that I'm willing to take on. You know, Godspeed to... To... Are you seriously still alive right now? What is with Asian zombies and being resilient? Like, they won't die. <laughs> what, do you have to get up and do some math homework? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm dying! <laughs> and that's uh, my... <laughs> that's my impression of uh, people who make that kind of joke. It's easy and it's rude. You, I mean, <laughs> I talk like I'm above it, but at least I'm self-aware of how horrible it is. And how, and how horrible I am for saying it and how even though I can try to defend it by saying it's just satire it's just, the joke is that shocking y yeah it's not really fooling anybody it's, it's, it's still crude and unnecessary and hurtful to some people I you know I used to be uh, an ardent person on the there are no borders in comedy which I guess I still technically believe there are no borders in comedy but there there are definitely guidelines and you're gonna <laughs> while, while your joke may kind of push against social boundaries, you do have to make sure that y your joke is coming from a good place, not just a neutral place that's jabbing at people. Oh, like, no. oh, <laughs> goodbye, gentlemen. Uh, nope, 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 I'm slipping past you. We're not fighting right now. We're not fighting right now. We're not fighting. Uh, you just stole my knife. You big willy. I'm gonna have to shoot you and take that back later, but not at this exact moment. At this exact moment, goodbye. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. I am a, I am on the anti-dealing with that task force right now. Let's see here. Where does this take me? Oh, what's over here? Is that a- Is that some steel boy? I love steel boys. I do indeed forget where this leads me. Alright, the other side of this room. You know, this would be a perfect time for a knife. Just gonna throw that out there. Okay, we're just being real careful. You'll never know that we're even here. We're just real careful. That's the one that we need. We're just real careful. He'll never even know. Aha, later, nerd. Later, nerd. Oh, we are gonna have to go back that way. Eventually. That's okay. Why is there a dog barking downstairs? Boof. There. My dad, uh, recently got... Recently got married. Um, well, remarried. <coughs> Ah, oh, my poor larynx is giving up on me. Um, and so we, 
we uh we got you know his his new wife brought in her her dogs her little yappy dogs uh <laughs> which we've always been he's always been kind of a, a big dog kind of person so it's it's funny to watch him <laughs> like deal with little dog antics because you know little dogs uh are uh <laughs> they can you know, they tend to be yappy and they tend to not listen and not be easily trained i mean that's obviously just a uh a generalization do i even need to go back to the place of oh yeah the hiding place that's right there's still some stuff i need to get but there's no mr x so that's good and i have a maggie num so if i run into a decor then i'll be fine we just need to real quick go get this picture developed hello Anybody in here? Ooh, Maggie, no man more. That means we have... What? So that puts eight in the box if I put this in the box. And that means in total we have... Oh god, math. Fifteen Magnum bullets. That's... That's pretty swood. <laughs> it's pretty swood, my guy. Alright, let's go and get the stuff in, the, in this ding dang episode. And next session, hopefully, will be the last one. And we'll be able to get through it all the rest of the game in the, in the next session. Try to knock this out. Oh, ooh, more Steel Boy. Has that always been there? <laughs> I hope not. Oh, look at that. It, it, it never closed, so we're good. Um, Yeah, I gotta go get it developed. Now, do I wanna take the short difficult path or the long simple path ultimately it does not matter i will go this way and if we run into trouble i'll give it a good pop pop <laughs> you missed the hoppity hop you get the poppity pop remember that smelly thinking about messing with the hoppity hop i got a poppity pop right here for you I think we're on the same page. No, we're not. There's a second one. There's a second one. Nope, not dealing with that. <laughs> Forget the poppity pop. Let's get the scoppity off. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's ham and cheese out of here, Scoob. <laughs> we're gonna go the long way. <laughs> I'm traumatized by that hallway now. I never had bad memories associated associated with that hallway like most people do, but now I do. <laughs> And I'm, I'm not I'm not even touching that. I'm not going anywhere near that nonsense. I'm gonna go the long way. We're gonna have a nice stroll. It's gonna be cool. I was I was totally ready for a liquor to be right there. It's, you know, scare me. Go bad, scare me. Would've been Would've been rough, I'll tell you what. Ah uh, Man, liquors sure are scary in this game. I wish there were more in the sequel. Well, more in the base, you know, regular difficulty, not the impossibly difficult, large difficulty. <laughs> Alright, development. Let's get it. And we go back up to the star's office. Yes, yes, hiding place. <laughs> Man, what is that? Is that Matilda? <laughs> no, that's just a white guy. Uh, let's go ahead and put away all the, all the ammo we don't need. Uh, <laughs> I hesitate. Let's go ahead and put away all the ammo. We don't need all this. All this ammo. We can carry things ourselves. Whatever, Smelly. See you later, Smelly and Smooly. <laughs> Brothers. Extraordinaire. Oh god, they hear me. Oh, are they near me? Okay. Alright. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why would they still make noise at me? There better not be one in here. I'll scream. I'll scream. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's, I was I was still ready for there to be one. Uh, liquors are scary, man. The wooden box. What's inside the wooden box? What's in the box? <gasps> What's in the box? <laughs> Excuse me, what is in the box? That's right. It is a part. Oh, that's right. Accuracy improvement. Good, good. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't give anybody the poppity pop. This is going to make the poppity pop way more efficient. 
<laughs> mess with the hoppity hop, you get the poppity pop. Don't worry, one day, we're gonna give someone the poppity pop. Someone big. We're gonna give a couple big people the poppity pop. Big deserving people. Poppity pop 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 pop. We're gonna give them a little poppity pop. <laughs> Matilda, by the way, has a, uh, when you have all the, well, I guess just the stock, you have like a three, a three shot burst you can do on, that's the, that's the, the big difference between Leon's gun and, well, I guess that's the difference between the Matilda and other handguns. Because it's different from Leon's other handgun. Oh, what up, Heather? See, look, there's the other hole. Also, this guy, if you never mess with him, just doesn't do anything. <laughs> he just hangs out. Uh, pardon me? Fuel for a flamethrower. Ooh. Oh, juice. <laughs> ah, you can't break through wood, you big dumb idiot. <laughs> what a fool. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, you didn't. Sucker tried to play me, but you never pay me. Never. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> Jolton Town. Oh, <laughs> uh, what up, Stinky? <laughs> Just checking on you. Was thinking about giving you the poppity pop, but I think noppity nop today. <laughs> All right, you know about what time it is. You already know what time it is. You're dreading it, I know. I'm dreading it as well, but all good things has got to an end. I shall see you on another day, my friend. I'll see you in the next life. Goodbye! Oh, what if there's like a really tiny Leon <laughs> walking into, into that bottle? <laughs> it's me, Leon, that's good. Here I go. <laughs> Ah, uh, good, good stuff.